Hello, and welcome to this video series, Dynamics 365 BC and CRM. We'll explore the CRM capabilities of Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this video, we'll cover campaigns and special prices. The first video covered the basics, and the final video will look at stepping up in the CRM system. My name is John Hoyt. I'm the Solutions Architect here at TMC. In this video, we look at the CRM campaigns and their special pricing, special discounts as part of the CRM functions in Business Central. Let's get started. In the first video, we covered accounts and contacts, the organizations and people that you have relations that you wish to track, and the interactions and opportunities around sales and other revenue opportunities. The campaign allows the sales manager and the management of the company to analyze the effectiveness of those efforts to reach out to your customer base, track the progress of the sales activities, and determine if it was overall successful or not, whatever goals might have been set for that. The creation of the campaigns themselves are very straightforward, and you can have multiple campaigns operating at the same time. Campaigns are date defined with a start date and an end date, but they could overlap. If we look at one of the existing sales campaigns in my system here, to increase sales, we have specified that we want to have a campaign that starts on November the 1st, and it would run for six months effectively, run through April 1st. Uh, you can associate the sales person to a particular campaign as a default, so any activity that comes in tagged to this campaign would automatically be associated with the salesperson. I can, of course, leave that blank as well, and that's going to then allow the individual who creates the transaction to be associated as the salesperson code. For invoicing purposes, I can use some of the dimension values inside Business Central. Those are covered in a separate video, but this allows me to associate this particular revenue with maybe a territory or a location or one of my warehouses for fulfillment purposes, or maybe it's tagged to a particular customer group, etc. The value in creating a campaign is really twofold. There's an internal value, that is, I'm going to allow management to have better visibility into activities and the success or failure of those activities related to a specific sales opportunity, uh, sales type, product lines, whatever it might be. From the customer's perspective, the value of a campaign really lies in the fact that I will offer an inducement during the course of the campaign typically in the form of some type of special pricing or special discounts. The special prices would allow me to say for a particular type and a particular item, if this item is purchased during the campaign, I'm going to offer some type of a discount for that. That discount can come in a couple of different forms. It might take the form of a percentage discount off. If you buy one of these during the campaign, we'll give you 10% off. You can also create an incentive to purchase a specific quantity, and in return, you will upgrade the quantity and provide a couple of units for free. Buy a dozen, get one free. You can also then start to build in ranges. If you buy between 1 and 10 units, you can get 10% off. Between 11 and 20 units, you can get 15% off. And more than 20 units, you can get 20% off. All those discounts and those pricing, uh, with the mind, of course, I'm going to be increasing my sales and generating more revenue. I will define start dates and end dates. These prices are managed automatically for me. I can create a start date a couple days in the future and an end date 30 days in the future, and I don't have to come back to manage that campaign actively. I can simply let the calendar do that for me. And then once that campaign has been created, of course, now anytime my sales team is working on new transactions, whether it's a new opportunity, 
I can associate that opportunity with a campaign. Or maybe we've advanced to the point of creating a new sales quote or a new sales order. They can also be associated with a campaign. This provides that visibility again for management to go back and look at the success of that effort. We initiated a campaign for this period focused on these items and from that we have this many successful quotes, orders, invoices, this much revenue, etc. So that covers the creation of a campaign and the prices and discounts, the opportunities that go along with that, and the built-in time management system. So just to review, when I define a campaign, I will define its purpose, its start, its end date. I can associate some default values if I choose, including associate this campaign with specific dimension values that might have been set up in my BC system. I can create special prices and discounts that could be in the form of percentage off or dollar off or free units based on quantities purchased. Those special prices and discounts would be in addition to whatever prices and discounts were established for the customer at the customer card level. So I can start to add on additional incentives. In terms of the management of the campaigns, there's a variety of built-in reports, including statistical analysis, drill down into the details of the campaign itself, and I can now use those campaign values as part of my list filters. So a quick review of the sales orders in my system will allow me to identify all of the sales orders that are linked to a specific campaign. So in this video, we reviewed the campaigns, the sales prices, the opportunities, and how we manage our campaign. And in the final video, we'll explore the full functionality of CRM as it's integrated with Dynamics 365 Business Central when we step up and add more features and more functions still. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video series, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments, but if you need any immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It does really help. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.